Good morning, guys. It is uh, my day off today. So we're gonna see if I can resist doing a lot of like work-related activities. Probably not. I admittedly have a problem with that, but um, we, we're, we're working on it. Anyway, just been doing plant stuff this morning. Um, I was uh, reporting on Instagram about it. Uh, we've got a little somebody in the plant hospital. I know some of you guys are interested in my plant updates. Here is my Adansonii, which I repotted yesterday, but I, cause I, I noticed some of the leaves were turning yellow and I thought maybe it was because it was pot bound, but it was turning yellow because it actually had mealybugs. I just noticed this morning. So um, that's unfortunate, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. So this morning, I think I'm gonna take Clover for a little walk. Um, we're not gonna go to the park today. I just, I'm not feeling the park. I know you wanna go, but I, I just, I can't handle it today. And I got the skin for my new computer. How adorable is that? Look, it's, it's peaches looks like um, but I really 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 like this and I'm really liking my new computer so far it's uh, really cool and I have a little um, thing for uh, putting things in it <laughs> it's a USB hub that is rose gold so it sort of goes with the coloration here I had to cut around this uh, skin in order for it to fit properly uh, because it needs to like completely be flush with this area of the computer. So that was a little annoying, but it fits with that off. So, which I'm really happy about. I may do the same thing to the other side as well. But anyway, uh, I'm happy with it. Clover, are you ready to go? All right, we'll go. We're gonna start the Roomba, cause uh, you know, you know. We're getting our um, storage unit soon. So hopefully we'll have a place for all of this business. This is just stuff I ordered for the new apartment. Um, I just, I need to get it out of here and start packing and loading the storage unit up because we will be having two days or three days possibly in between leaving here and moving into our new place. So we're gonna need a place for all this stuff. So we have a storage unit and we're just gonna bring stuff there all month. I wanna make it kind of a purposeful walk. So I wanna play Pokemon Go. I wanna do a little like Pokemon Go adventure today. I haven't played in a while, well, I play every day but I haven't really gone out and caught all the new generation five Pokemon that are out. And yes, if you have to know, I am a big kid. Uh, yes, and I still play Pokemon Go. So if you guys play um, and you're on Instagram, send me a DM and we will be friends on Pokemon Go and uh, we'll send each other gifts. I'm a very good gift sender. <laughs> I send gifts all the time. So, uh, you know, friend me up. In the meantime, are you ready to go, bud? Okay, let's do this. We walked two miles. Uh, the Roomba needs a new battery because she's missing in action. I don't know where it stopped. It runs out of battery and like stops instead of going back to its its charger whenever it runs out of battery. So I think you need to replace those like once a year or something like that. So let's find it. It's weird that I can't find it. So here's its charger. It's not there. It's not here. Oh, hello, Clover. It's not under the couch. I looked under there. It's not over here. <laughs> It's not anywhere over here, and it's not under here, is it? No, Clover's everywhere though. He's like everywhere I am. It's not under there, I don't see it. What the heck? It's too big to get lost. Oh, I think I see it. There she is, that's where she stopped. Well, I think it got the job done before it stopped. Well, at least we finished. We are definitely working on training with this little man. He has been um, kind of barking and lunging at other dogs lately um, during his walk, which is uh, very naughty. I, I'm really gonna buckle down the last next couple of 
months and really get him a little less leash reactive. I'm gonna try anyway. Um, that's a really, a hello. I know it's a really like not an easy thing to solve, but I think that with some patience, uh, we can solve this problem, right? You're not a total uh, lost cause, right? Right? Anyway, while I was out, I bought some trash liners for the trash can because uh, I'm very particular that these fit perfectly. They, they fit perfectly and that's why I like them a lot. Here we go, there we go. Okay, it's almost lunchtime, so I think I will take myself uh, to Target to do a little shopping. I'm out of creamer, so I gotta go grab that. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at Marshall, see if anything sports my fancy in there. Um, and uh, gonna go maybe to the grocery store, maybe grab some stuff for lunch, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll probably be just recording with my phone if I record any of that footage. Uh, because it's more convenient for me. So, enjoy. All right, I'm back. I uh, didn't take any footage from when I was shopping, but I'll tell you what I got. And I'm just gonna say I love Boston because it's only 1 p.m. and I've already walked 12,500 steps. So, I'm doing good. Most walkable city ever. So, I am, I don't like pumpkin spice things, really, but I'm, this. I'm, I am kind of basic and I like, <laughs> I do like pumpkin spice uh, coffee around, uh, you know, pumpkin spice time. And I do like that uh, Starbucks now, look, recyclable K-cup pods. Uh, peel, empty, recycle. So hopefully they're gonna be easier to peel the tops off. I've been doing that and it's a pain in the you know what. So hopefully um, this will be easier. I'm really happy that they're doing that now. Thank you very much, Starbucks or Keurig or whoever's doing that. And I got some more uh, K-Cups, I got vanilla. These were uh, on clearance at Marshall's because I think they're like about to expire. I think maybe like November, but I go through these so quickly that they'll be, they'll be drank by then. Got some creamer, I like the almond creamer from Silk. In there, I got some wet ones cause you know, I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> I got some cotton pads for my face. And a little thing of deodorant from, cause I'm traveling very soon and I need a, one of these little travel sizes. I also got some pots for, um, I'm gonna repot the, the, this guy cause it's got problems and probably, oh, might repot that one too. I'm just gonna take a look at the root systems um, to see how they're doing. I have some others that need repotting as well. So I got these four pots. They're slightly on the smaller side. I do think they are like four inch pots. Um, they're slightly bigger than the nursery pots that some of those are in. Anyway, I picked up my lunch on the way back and I'm gonna eat, so see ya. All right, I am here in Newton this morning. Uh, the sun is very unflattering, sorry. Um, but I'm here for a uh, DIY consultation. So what I do sometimes is I go to clients' houses and I do an entire sort of consultation and I give them a DIY plan instead of having me there for hours and hours doing hands-on organizing. Uh, because that is, um, expensive it I, I i am there you you're getting my hands-on organizing services it's not affordable for everybody so sometimes this is a really nice option for those who want to give it a shot at doing them themselves so what i do is i go and i do the whole consultation i take measurements uh pictures and all that stuff and i give them a big diy plan which you know it could be like a little space it could be like a big space so depending on um, how successful they are at it this may be just enough for them um, sometimes I do end up coming back and actually being with them in person uh, but this is a good first try option for anybody who's trying to save a little money with the services and um, it's it, it's good practice for me as well so um, it's really sunny and I'm gonna get started because I'm here right on time yay So after doing some thinking, um, I I called the plan shop where I purchased this from, and they I told them what the situation was, and they said that it's not I'm not the first person who's had this problem, and they're aware that they had some mealy bug issues, but they thought they had gotten them all, so um, they kindly offered to uh, replace it uh, with something else. So I'm gonna I'm just not gonna battle with this, you know. I just I don't have the I'm moving, I don't have the time, so I'm just gonna take this plant back, um, and I wrapped it in some plastic, and I'm just gonna. I'm gonna give them the, the pot, the soil, everything, I don't care. And we're just gonna walk it down to the plant store. Uh, they said they replaced, they said they had another Adansonia there. I don't know if I wanna take that risk if it's just from the same other plant. We'll see what happens when I get there, but um, we're gonna do that, right? You ready to go for a walk? Okay, let's do this thing. You just have to 
ask yourself, is the battle worth it? And I, even though it's only been a day and I haven't really seen any since I took a bunch of off last night, I, I was, I didn't realize there was a bunch like in the petioles, like in the little folds of the petioles. It was disgusting. Um, I just, I don't have the patience to deal with this right now <laughs> with all the other stuff going on. I don't want to risk the rest of my plants getting infected as well. So we'll, we'll, uh, let's take a walk and see what's going on there. So we're back at home and, uh, I, they were very, very, very nice at the store. I had a really nice chat with the lady who was working there. We had a nice little plant chat and, um, it turns out, uh, they had been having some problems with, uh, the mother plant, I guess, where they got the cuttings from, um, from a certain grower. So, well, I don't want to order from that grower anymore. I mean, it, well, I mean, it, things happen, you know, like pests happen. It's a thing. So, um, I just don't have the bandwidth to deal with mealybugs right now with all this other stuff that's going on. So, um, I was sad to see it go because it was a very cute plant, but, um, we, we don't, we, ain't nobody got time for that. Hey friends. Happy Friday. Um, I'm off today. So I have been, um, I got up really early and if I had clover early, we went to the park super early and uh, he got a bath. Whenever he gets a bath, he always looks really beautiful afterward. He's like all fluffy and lovely. He got a little haircut in the back there, which is not his favorite time, but um, he he survives. You, you do okay, buddy, but he looks so beautiful and fluffy and soft and he smells good after he's had a bath too. So we love bath time. So uh, Ed and Sony Eye Gate is over. She's gone. I kind of miss her. I really liked her, but the mealybugs, I just didn't have the bandwidth for it. You know what I mean? But I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and a little bit of uh, some Zelda playing later. I know that I talked about the Goose Game last week, but Zelda has been taking over my life. Um, if you've never played like a top-down Zelda, like there's a bunch of 3D Zelda games, the top-down Zeldas are way more brutal and difficult than like the 3D Zelda. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I died a fair amount of times playing Breath of the Wild and that like game really tested me as far as like being challenging, but a top-down Zelda will test you a lot. <laughs> so I just wanna show you what I've been working on. So this is an app called Tab Glance and it's what I used to design our current apartment. Uh, I recreated everything in this software down to like the inch of how big things and small things were um, so this is going to be our next place. <laughs> so I have been working very hard on the design. I'll just give you a little preview of what my living room design is. I think I'm going to go for a little bit of a change here. Um, and this, this is not a window. This is actually a door out here. This goes to our porch. So I just, um, figured that's what it will look like. So I'm going to be TV and all that and then some shelves in the back for uh, the plantas and maybe some other stuff too but yeah just a little preview of the apartment for those of you who are eagle-eyed we have a second bedroom too so uh, <laughs> look quickly <laughs> but um, so that is what I've been working on all day gathering things and I'm very excited so let's talk about what's going to be happening over the next several weeks so it is almost October and I am, October, first of all, is one of my favorite months. It's actually my favorite month out of the year. The weather is so perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's sweater weather. We love sweater weather here in New England. The leaves are so pretty. It's just my, it's my favorite, man. However, this October is going to be very intense for me. So let me just give you a heads up about what's gonna be happening. So I'm gonna be pre-filming a lot of content over the next uh, week or so and we'll distribute that through the entire month of October because as you know, during this time, I am also uh, moving house. So we'll be doing a lot of that stuff and I won't have time to, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of time to edit because along with packing all of my items, I will be learning uh, an, an opera in Italian. <laughs> I just got a contract today. I will have to, I am doing another concert before that happens, uh, I'm going to, LA to go to Vid Summit, and uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna try to be proactive and get all of the videos for October done so that you guys have something to watch while I'm losing my mind next month. It's gonna be fun, don't get me wrong, and I will be taking you along with the journey, but probably you won't see that stuff until November. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will see it all, so please follow me on Instagram if you're not. Instagram, so fun. 
I love talking to you guys. I love talking to you guys on Instagram. You have no idea. Like, I love chatting with you guys in the DMs. I love talking under the comments. It's fun. Follow me on Instagram, please. Culver also has an Instagram, but it's not as active. I can't do his Instagram and my Instagram with the same intensity, so uh, follow us both on Instagram. I should just call it like K and Clover on Instagram, but it's it's, it's me, but it's him also. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and that is all, but I think I'm gonna uh, make some coffee and play some Zelda now. I drink too, way too much coffee, first of all, and I, I have been drinking the pumpkin spice and yeah, it's really good. I am so basic, but I love pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, he's come. Oh, hello. Hello. I can't promise you guys I'll be as active in the comments during the entire month of October. It's really going to be insane, uh, but I will do my best to be on top of it because you guys are my priority. <laughs> I love you, but oh my goodness. Anyway, I've said everything I needed to say, and uh, I hope you guys are having a great one. Hug somebody near you. Hug somebody you love. Tell them you love them. Um, and uh, all that stuff. Put a smile on your face. Enjoy your day because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So uh, that sounds very fatalistic. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you gotta get off my lap. Oh, it's so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. So cute. You, got, you got fur all over my shirt. <laughs> Stop, get out of my face. Okay, why are you not getting off? All right, here we go. I just put this on. Brando. I'm good as new.